Alright, welcome students to Unit 1, Chapter 1, but Day 2 here on measurements. Alright, today we're going to talk about measurements. Alright, right here, these are the I will statements, okay, also known as the I can statements. Alright, measurements here, why do we measure things? Okay, why do we have certain units? And how do scientists communicate measurements? What do you think? All right, the SI unit, uh, excuse me, the SI system is called the International System of Units, okay? It's used worldwide by scientists to communicate based on multiples of 10, okay? This is not what you're used to necessarily at your house using. Now, this ladder here, the ladder method shows us how we can convert from one unit to another, okay? So here on this ladder, we have uh, kilo, hecto, deca, the basic unit, deci, centi, and milli here. If we're going to convert, okay, we're going to use the ladder here to move the decimal around. Now, our base units are right here in the middle, okay? Meters, liters, and grams. Meters is measuring distance. It's like what you think of as inches. Liters is measuring volume, okay, how much typically fluid is in a certain area, okay, and grams is measuring mass there, all right, it's not weight, it's mass. All right, so uh, how do we use the ladder method? Well, first we've got to determine where we're starting, and then we determine where we're ending. So let's say I have uh, four kilometers km k comes from this kilo here 4 km is 4 kilometers 4 kilometers to just regular meters again here's the starting point here's the ending point here's the starting point kilometers our ending point where is just meter on here it's not millimeter it's not centimeter it's not decimeter it's not decameter hectometer or hectometer excuse me or kilometer it is going to be right here. Meter, liter, and gram is basic. Okay, it's under basic unit. So we're going from kilo, one, two, three spots, and we're moving from left to right. We're going down the ladder here from left to right. So if I have four kilometers, kilometers there, and I want to measure it just in meters, I take four as we do here, and I take the decimal, which is understood after the four, okay? And a whole number, the decimal is understood after the whole number, and we move that decimal three places to the right. Now, every time we move it to the right, we gotta put a number in here. So that number is always gonna be the same number, it's zero. So I move it one place, two place, and three places to the right. I add zeros in there, and now I have four zero 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 decimal, okay, which makes four thousand. Okay, we're gonna have to do a lot of practice with this, just moving the decimals back and forth. Okay, it's not very difficult, but it is essential in order to be able to do a lot of the lab stuff correctly. All right, so here's the ladder method again. In that example, we went from km to m from kilometer to meter. If we were doing millimeters, let's say we have four millimeters, and we're going from here to meters, I go one, two, three places to the left, and again, the number is understood behind the four there, so it looks like this, four with the decimal out, so, um, after it, I need to go three places to the left because i said we we're going to start with millimeter and we're going up to basic there all right three places to the left goes one two three i add my zeros in there i put my decimal there i put a zero in the front i have 0 0.004 meters is the same thing as four millimeters All right, let me clear the annotation there. All right, next slide. So, oops. 
There we go. All right, so let's do some conversion practice here. I'm going to do the first two with you. All right, we have a thousand milligrams. Thousand milligrams equals how many grams? So where is a thousand milligrams? A thousand milligrams is over here, and we're going to regular grams, which is under basic units. Remember, this is meter, liter, gram. So a thousand milligrams, and I go one, two, three places to the left. I'm, I know that there's a, a decimal right after this last zero. I need to go three places to the left. So I go one, two, three places. How, if you have a thousand milligrams, how many grams do you have? A thousand milligrams, three places to the left. If I write it out like this, here's a thousand. I know the decimals there. I go one, two, three. I only have 1.0 grams. So my answer there would be 1.0. All right. Now let's do the second one there. Okay, it says one liter to milliliters. Okay, one liter to milliliters. So the one liter is found right here in the basic units, and we're going to milliliters. Where's the decimal in this whole number? It comes after the whole number, so it's 1.0. Okay, we're going to go 1.0 liters, okay, to milliliters. We're going one, two, three places to the right. I move the decimal one, two, three places to the right. Add some zeros in there. Put a decimal there. Okay, my answer in the end is 1,000. All right, 1,000 milliliters is the same thing as one liter. All right, now I want you guys to try the last four there on your own. All right, so for this next one, you should have went from 160 centimeters to millimeters. You're moving the decimal one place to the right. 160 centimeters equals 1,600 millimeters. Okay, 160 centimeters is 1,600 millimeters. Okay. The other one, 14 kilometers, okay, kilometers up here. And we're going to meters. We're going one, two, three there, okay. Move it, the decimal three places to the right. 14 kilometers is 14,000 meters. 14,000 meters. Okay, remember that the basic unit here is meter, liter, gram. All right, let's do these last two right here. 109 grams is how many kilograms? Kilograms over here, you go one, two, three. You move the decimal from the end of the 109 over to the left. You should get... 0 0.109. All right, that is your answer for your kilograms there. And then lastly, the 250 meters is how many kilometers? You're going from, again, here up 3, and you're 250, so you should have 0 0.25, oops, 0. Sorry, that five's not written very well. And that goes right there.
All right, let's move on. At the bottom, it says comparing using equal to or greater than or less than. All right, the circles are supposed to be moved over a little bit here. Uh, so 56 centimeters is that, and so centimeters over here, as opposed to meters, six meters here, 56 centimeters is much smaller. So we would draw the little less than like that. Seven grams to 698 milligrams. All right, that one's close. Seven grams here is the same thing as saying 700 milligrams. So seven grams is greater than 698 milligrams. Not by much, only two milligram difference, but it is greater. Okay. Let's move on to length here. So the distance between two points is length. That's a unit for length is the meter. All right, the instrument used here is a ruler or a meter stick. One meter equals how many centimeters? One meter equals how many centimeters? If I go from one meter to centimeters here, I move the decimal over one, two. All right, one, two, it's going to equal 100. 100 there. All right, one meter is how many millimeters? Again, we're moving the decimal over though three places now. If I move it over three, one meter equals 1,000 millimeters. Okay. Lastly, one centimeter equals how many millimeters? One centimeter. Right here, centimeters equals how many millimeters? Okay, I just moved the decimal over to the right one time. And if I do that, one centimeter equals 10 millimeters. All right, that is length. Now let's look at this star, okay? Now, I want you to note that it starts at the 2 millimeter mark there, okay? Actually, I'm sorry, that's centimeters. 2 centimeter mark there, and it goes to the 5 centimeter mark, okay? So the difference between 2 to 5 is what? It is 3 centimeters. Therefore, this star is 3 centimeters long. Now that we've talked about length, let's talk about volume. So the volume of a liquid, it's the amount of space occupied by the liquid. The tool to measure volume is what we call a graduated cylinder. All right, the SI unit for measuring volume is the milliliter. Okay, that's a lowercase m and an uppercase L. One liter equals how many milliliters? One liter equals how many milliliters? So here's liter. To milliliter, we're moving one, two, three places to the right. So one liter, which is then 1.0, I move the decimal three places to the right. One, two, three, I add some zeros in here. I put my decimal there, add a zero there. I have 1,000 milliliters. So one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. So right here would be 1,000. All right. Always read the meniscus or the bottom of the curve. So when we're using the graduated cylinder, make sure you read the bottom of that curve. The bottom of the curve is the correct uh, measurement for that volume of liquid. All right. So this one here is 41 to 43 milliliters. Okay, so we are finished with this part of the notes, part two. Okay, we're going to pick up with part two. There's a little bit more in just a little bit.